yang ke satu airport ke atau ada beberapa airport ke sini? Sekarang ini satu <coughs> yang akan dibangun dan ada beberapa airport ke sini. Yang dekat dengan Pak Alfakan itu di provinsi-provinsi Islam -provinsi Kemudian Kodifa Abijan itu juga tidak punya ini sendiri. Ya, bisa di Pokoknya kalau sudah dari Indonesia mereka akan pilih kita Pak. Ya. Pak Arif datang satu kali aja di sana semua beres. Oh, <laughs> gitu. ya. <laughs> Jadi nanti minta doa mereka. Kita tahun ini sudah 130. Saksi, saya tanda tangan dulu Pak. Biar praktis. Nanti tinggal seremoni aja. Ya. <laughs> Farif and Mr. Han Al Haji, we would like to please you to sit in front. You mind if I take a few of our nationals who live here? Yeah, yes. For them to witness this. Yes, yes. They ask for it. Yes. In that visit. Yes. So they want a relationship, deeper relationship to enable them to be able to come and go, come and go. I want better relationship than the airline. <laughs> so let me just call a few of them to come. Good evening and welcome at the signing ceremony between Garuda Indonesia and Sierra Leone International Airlines. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the first agenda is remarks from President and CEO of Garuda Indonesia. Please welcome Mr. Arif Bibowo. His Excellency, the Minister of Information and Communication of Sierra Leone, Hon Al Haji Al Fakanu. Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Samura Kamara. His Excellency, our Ambassadors, Mr. Andal Tati. The Sierra Leone International Alliance. Indonesia representatives Bapak Datuk Agung Sedayu Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen and friends from the media Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, First of all, on behalf of Garuda Indonesia I'd like to extend our warmest welcome to highly respected the presidents of Sierra Leone, Mr. Aras Bay Koroma and the Minister of Information and Communication, Mr. Alpha Kano. I sincerely hope that you enjoy your visit and have a truly pleasant stay in here in Indonesia. Garuda Indonesia is truly delighted to have the opportunity to establish this cooperation with the National Airline of Sierra, Sierra Leone. In the currently dynamic aviation industry with an increasingly competitive business environment and a rapidly changing world which is marked by interdependencies and strong demands from the customers. It is inevitable that airlines need to develop mutually beneficial strategic cooperations and partnerships such as this one evidence here today. As we are all aware that the European and Hajj market has a huge potential as well, which is the evidence from the number of passengers that has been increasing dramatically each and every year. And meanwhile, from the regional perspective, Freetown, Conakry, Monrovia, Accra, Lagos, Abuja, Kano also remain as potential market in Africa. Looking at uh, such a potential market, we felt impelled to develop a partnership with Sierra Leone uh, Airlines in the form of maybe we can do for such kind of aircraft leasing, the charter hub, uh, the charter flight for Hajj in West Africa, and other mutually beneficial cooperations a plan for the future. With respect to our respective backgrounds and competence, I strongly believe this promising synergy between Sierra Leone Airlines and Garuda Indonesia which will yield greater benefits and value for both our companies and also contribute positively towards strengthening the relationships between our two respective countries. Before we continue further, please allow me to share a brief insight about uh, Garuda Indonesia as we continue to embark on our own journey, which is now presenting a new level of service of excellence in air travel. Garuda Indonesia, the airline of uh, national carrier of Indonesia, seamlessly uh, connects up, up to 76 destinations worldwide to not only one of the largest economies in Southeast Asia, but also we have an exotic locations throughout the beautiful archipelagic Indonesia at all at once. With almost 600 daily flights and a fleet of the youngest uh, 166 aircraft in the sky, which should grow to around 185 aircraft by 2015, Garuda Indonesia is you know, uh, uh, proudly to serve our passengers with more winning uh, Garuda Indonesia experience. This is the distinctive uh, service concept uh, with the famous innocent hospitality and culture and of course this is also providing foreign customers 
with the opportunity to experience the real Indonesian culture. As a result, Garuda Indonesia is now ongoing transforming a program and also with the welcome support from all our partners and stakeholders, Garuda is now proudly positioned amongst the world's top 10 airlines in the seventh place. Last year, we were awarded the prestigious The World Best Cabin Group 2014 from Skytrax and following the awards, uh, the world's most improved airline in 2010 and the world best regional airline in 2012 and also being named as the world best economic class in 2013. In addition, the distinction of having the world's best cabin crew on December 11, 2014, Garuda Indonesia successfully attained a five star, this is the five star airline rating, which is designated by the renowned UK based independent commercial aviation research firm, uh, we name it the uh, Skytrax. With this achievement, Garuda is now joined the limited ranks as one of only seven five stars airlines in the world, alongside the likes of All Nippon Airlines, Asian Airlines, Qatar Pacific Airways, Hainan Airlines, Singapore Airlines, and Qatar Airways. Following our entrance to uh, SkyTeam Global Alliance by teaming up with uh, more than 19, uh, 19 uh, major airline members, our passengers are able to fly with extensive network comprising more than 1,000 unique destinations in 177 countries. And after receiving the IOSA certification in 2008, and becoming a registered IOSA, IOSA operator, the only IATA member from Indonesia. And now uh, Garuda also uh, consistently implements the security and safety standards that puts on par with other leading IATA member alliance. We sincerely hope that our partnership will not be beneficial to Sierra Leone Leon Airlines and Garuda Indonesia itself, but will also contribute positively towards strengthening the relationship between our two respective countries. On behalf of Garuda Indonesia, may I once again express my sincere appreciation and thanks to Sierra Leone Airlines for your confidence and trust in Garuda Indonesia and also to both teams who have all assisted commendable in the realization of the two-day signing agreement. We look forward to strengthening our long-standing ties and having further prosperous cooperation in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. President of the United States. The next agenda is remarks from Minister of Information and Communication of Sierra Leone, please, Mr. Han Ahaji Alfagano. Thank you very much, Madam Master of Ceremonies, uh, Chief Executive Officer of Garuda Indonesia, Vice President met you yesterday, and I met also some of that. Ambassador of Indonesia to Sierra Leone, resident in Dakar. So we already have the diplomatic relationships. Mr. Agun Sidayu and your team. I'm delighted here in the presence of our foreign minister and the director general of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and one of our very strong private sector operators in Sierra Leone, Mr. Ali Fon and a cross-section of Sierra Leoneans who have just appealed to his excellence to ensure that the deepen and strengthen relationship between Indonesia and Sierra Leone. They have chosen Indonesia as their own land in the diaspora, where they ply their trade, where they do their business, where they go to school, where they follow their sports, 
and they believe that they want to continue here. It's a way home, away from home. They just told the president for that. And we found that also, that in Indonesia, if one were to look for a, a, a more conducive place in Southeast Asia, i.e. south of the equator, to find somewhere conducive for Sierra Leoneans to live in terms of climate, in terms of the vegetation, in terms of the, uh, even the religion, and the religious tolerance, Indonesia is the place. We are very impressed with what we have seen. Today we visited Jababika. Yesterday I was at the UPM, University of Veteran University. And today I was at the President University. We had the clamor from Indonesians is that we need you to be our extension in West Africa. We must have closer relationships. Well, how can you make this happen? We are half a world away from here. It's 18 hours. We'll be starting that journey in the next one hour. You must shorten the distance. How do you shorten that distance? You reduce the waiting time. If you have a link, an air link between Sierra Leone and Indonesia, I believe that's one of the elements that the Minister of Foreign Affairs will be looking into to strengthen and deepen the so badly needed relationship. We have seen a lot of things that we will want to take back to Syria. <laughs> Excellency, the President is pleasantly surprised. And he has just announced that this meeting that he has attended was a general meeting, a conference, in Africa, Asia, South, South Corporation. So, but the impression he has of Indonesia, he will be requesting the <coughs> Minister of Foreign Affairs not to travel with us today. He will stay so that he can explore ways where we can find faster ways of deepening the relationship and opening up Sierra Leone and Indonesia to each other. He has even proposed that he would like to come here on a state visit very soon, so that he will use that visit to find out what can be done and what we can borrow. I'm very impressed. We're doing the same things that you're doing here on a smaller scale and slower because our economy is small. We have been hit by war. We have been hit by a disease, but I want to also mention here that far away Indonesia joined us in the fight against Ebola through the auspices of the organization run by Mr. Agum Sidayu, Yaya San Pendikan Indonesia. We were able to raise money and send back. I was touched one day when I received a wire from the University of Timor-Leste. Yes. The students to put money together and send it to fight the disease for children from Sierra Leone. I received money through him from mosques here, from organizations here, from, and they don't even know where Sierra Leone is. It shows you that this is indeed a place where we have, our message has reached before we did. Now we have come to consolidate that. And on the business side, I have been watching Gauda International, Gauda Indonesia, for a very long time. I have been myself in the aviation business since 1989. And I have seen that Gauda International has a very good record. Very good record of service. Very good record of timing. Very good record of comfort for the passengers. When I lived in it, all the same time I go to the airport, you know, either meet the crew or you see a Garuda Indonesian with a proud tail standing up there. And when you read up on them, you find out that it is a very serious organization. So a country like us will need serious partners. We have had all our airline partners before, but they're not as strong as you. So this time, with the kind of statistics you've given us, I saw the Minister of Foreign Affairs when you said that. You have 176 aircraft in your fleet that will go to 185 by the end of 2015. He looked up and looked at me. I know what he said with his eyes. He said, I've had that partner we need. Because when you have a strong partner, you know that at any time you will be able to fulfill your commitment 
to the people you are serving. And Sierra Leone does need that. We have a wide basin called the Manu River Basin. Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. Together, the population in there is about 22 million people. And none of us have an airline. We have to depend on foreign carriers. And when Ebola hit, most of them pulled out. So we were left on our own. Had we had our own airline, we would not have suffered. But thankfully, companies like Royal Air Maroc and SN Brussels stayed. They are the only ones who kept selling linked, who kept Liberia linked and Guinea linked to the rest of the world. British Airways, Air France, and all others. Even Kenya Airways we do. So, but if you have your own, when the chips are down, your own airline will stay. Now this has given us an opportunity to strengthen the systems in the country, for us to ensure that surprises like what happened to us with the Ebola virus will not take us unaware anymore. If we do come as that from that, we will be able at least to know what to do to limit the damage, if any. So today, I feel very proud. One, to represent the company in Sierra Leone International Airlines, and at the same time representing the country in this epoch-making agreement that we are going to sign. We call it the Mem Memorandum of Understanding, which paves the way for us to start talking about how we are going to cooperate. And I know that with your expertise and the little knowledge that we have in Sierra Leone, you will be able to open up your offices, your training schools and of course your company for Sierra Leoneans to derive benefit from them in terms of business and also capacity building for our people. Thank you very much and I look forward to a meaningful business relationship. Thank you. Thank you so much Mr. Sierra Leone. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the signing Memorandum of Understanding between Indonesia and Sierra Leone International Airlines. We would like to please Mr. Ari Bibo and Mr. Son Ahaji Alpha Kanu to sign the Memorandum of Understanding between Garuda Indonesia and Sierra Leone International Airlines. Did you switch the document? Yeah. And then sign one more. Give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The signing ceremony between Kentucky Indonesia and Sierra Leone International Airlines. We'd like to do the pictures, take a picture together. Mr. Ari Vivo and Mr. Han Ahaji Alpha Khan, Minister of Information and Communication, Sierra Leone. And we would like to give a token of appreciation from Garuda Indonesia. And miniature of aircraft, Pari. This is our this is one of the Airbus. Yeah, can be in Sierra Leone. Yes, give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That is a symbolic kind of over. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Rahman Alaji Alpha Kanu, Mr. Arif Bo. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen for the signing ceremony with Indonesia and Seattle International Airlines. Or maybe we would like to please uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs to do the photo together. Thank you so much. With Pak Arif. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mr. Andar Jati, Mr. Agung Sidaya to do the photo session. Pak Iwan, boleh? Ambassador. Yes, Ambassador also. <coughs> we can do the pictures together. Indonesia is populous, <laughs> but in this room we are more populous than you are. So we will match you man for man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. One more. Ali. Okay. Ali. Ali. Okay. Yes, come, uh, Ali. And the lady. Move, 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 move. 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 Yeah. 
Nanti bisa di SMS alamat Asafi ya. Oh, <laughs> telepon dan nomor telepon. Pinjam kartu nama saya. 